Hello everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations. How is everybody doing? Long time no here. I have been away for quite, quite a while. Um, I'm not going to go into it. It's been a long winter. It's been a long year completely. Don't ask me where the year went. It was just December, but um, yes, it, it's just been a lot. Anyway, um, I'm in the middle of working on some projects. You'll see that shortly. I will be posting a video shortly about that. Um, but I wanted to come on today because I was contacted by, I believe her name is Amanda at um, Your Creative Studio. And she asked me if I would be willing to showcase one of her subscription boxes and work with the products. And being as I'm struggling with some creativity in areas right now, I, of course, accept it. I love watching the unboxing videos and the things that the ladies share and use. And so I am here to share mine. So she sent it off. It came fairly quickly. I was work at work all week when it came. So I had to wait till today to do this. I am going to guess because I do not know um, that this is... Uh, February um, subscription box because it says 0223. I don't know. I don't know what month it is, but if I had to guess, I would say it was February. I could be wrong. Anyway, so we're going to get in because I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to open this and see what I have. So I did undo all the tape and everything. And again, there is the name, Your Creative Studio. I will make sure to list all the links down below. I know there's different ways you can purchase different amounts of the boxes. You can get them monthly and so on. I will put all that in the description box below so you can go check it out. Um, she does have amazing things and a great, a great store. So I don't want to wreck anything. So this is just a little thank you card and I didn't purchase it. It just says thank you for your purchase, but this was sent to me to share with you. And it just says a flower blooms for its own joy. And that's from Oscar Wilde, but that's a beautiful little card that can be um, embellished and used. And then love this paper. So I do not want to wreck this paper. So you're going to have to forgive me. I'm going to try and go slow a little bit on certain things because I want to be able to use all the stuff. All right. Well, that didn't work well. So we'll try coming this way. All right. Yes. Beautiful paper. It's almost like, well, it's shiny on one side. It's almost like a kind of a wrapping paper, but all these images can be used. So we're going to stick this right here. And I'm going to take everything out of the box because then I can move the box. So we're going to pull all these packages out. And there seems to be quite a few packages in here. Oh, what is that? I see purple. Ooh, I see more purple. Okay, this one. And this. And this. Oh, it just keeps going and going. Look at that. All right, so that's the box. So we're going to move this to the side because I want to have room to be able to show everything to you. All right, so we're going to work in the other direction as we kind of took it out of the box. And here, I love this, we have some, well, let's see if it says what these are. It doesn't say what they are. It just says past memory, but I see some dried flowers in there. We are going to open everything because, you know, I like to open everything. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, we have some beautiful dried flowers right here. Oh, and a little puddles fell off. So we have some dr dried and pressed flowers. Put that right back on there. And this looks like all little um, embellishment pieces that you can use in a journal on tags. Sorry, I dropped everything. These are little vellum pieces. And if I had to guess, I would probably say, yep, they are stickers. But it's almost like a cloth paper. So those are a little girl and a horse. And I know if I try and zoom in too much, it's going to go blurry on me unless I do autofocus. Let's see if I can get it to work. And it's not going to. So it's a little girl. Let's see. 
Let's turn on the autofocus a second. There we go. So if I bring it up, it should focus. There we go. There she is. And then we'll just turn that off a second and come back down. So that's those. And then this one says, when, I'm going to say it says, what, wed, new? <laughs> I can't even read the writing, but it's either new or wed. It's, it looks like a W for Wednesday. Yeah, because this one's August. This says August. And I'm afraid to keep the autofocus on because then when I'm a little further away, let's see how it, let's see how I do with this. If it'll keep it in focus. No, see, it doesn't want to keep it in focus. I'm telling you, I have done more struggling this year with, um, with my whole system than anything else. And then a list, two of these. And then there's some more vellum stickers. That's really pretty. It's a paint palette and some flowers. And these, you know, you can't see through them. So these are awesome. And then two that say the cloud. I bring fresh shower for the thirsting flowers. Those are pretty. And then again, these, uh, these I believe, are some form. Oh, this might just be paper. But, ooh, that feels pretty. Look at the little bunny. This one says September 12th. Happy day. So all little different pieces of ephemera. Midnight streets. Ooh, these are cool. I like the feel of the paper. And then even this has a different texture to it. This paper. So yes, little pieces of ephemera again. Wow, that, I like the way that paper feels. So these are all little pieces you can use. You can make a bullet journal if you want. In your regular journal. On a tag. Streams full of stars like the skies at night. Alright, so there's that. And then this one. And then this one where you can actually dot out your date. So that's that package. That was a lot in one little package. Okay, so we're going to put all this back. Let's put our dried flowers on here. A couple of them fell off, but we're going to hang on to those. We'll just move that over. And then here we have a cling stamp. And I'm going to guess the picture kind of tells you what's in there. But again, I don't want to... I want to kind of save this bag and stuff, so we're going to try and, there we go, open this. Oh, there's three of them in here. So we have this one, which is um, a set of flowers. And again, this dang camera, let's see if I can make it work here. Oh, I can't even, there we go. There's that one. And this one. Let it focus a second. Come on. You can do it. Now it doesn't want to do it, right? It's too shiny. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And then this one. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Bring it up. I don't know why it takes a second. Anyway, there's the third one. I really like this one too. And we'll print we'll print these on some paper to see how they look. And then it has this little this is not sticky, but it does have a little piece of vellum over it. I would use that to stamp it again. And then you could actually use this. Like you would think this sticks onto the maybe there's another layer that comes off. I don't know. That sticks onto your pad, but that's okay. And then you have that extra one you can stamp right on it and use that in your um, in your projects. So we'll just put that back there for now. And those three, and we will stamp those on some paper and see what they look like. And then this one is also a cling stamp, and that looks really pretty. I love flowers. This is like a perfect one for me because I love botanicals and, and color, and you know, I'm all about color. I love these envelopes. These will be perfect too. Let's see if I can get it out. This is a big one. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. So you could use it this way. You could use it this way. And I'm sorry for all the lights. Um, but if I don't have a million lights on, it looks so dark in my room. And all my lights are like in the ceiling in weird spots. So we will print this one out too and see what it looks like. So that's that one. We're going to put this right over here. And then we have masking tape, which which is washi. 
So let's see what this looks like. I'm so excited to get this and open it. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Let's see if I can find the end. There it is. See if I can pull it up even more. That's going to be the test for me. Hold on, let me grab something to pull this up with. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? It's like blue flowers. There you go. That's beautiful. Love that. Okay, we will be using that. <laughs> we'll put that over there. This with the envelope. Okay, let's see. We have some time collection and original sticker pack. Oh, so these are stickers. Cool. All right, so let's open this one. See what we got in here, what we can play with. I mean, we can play with all of it, but let's see what we can, what we got. All right, so love the purples, of course. So we have these two, which are really pretty. And yes, they are stickers. So you can peel these off and then you could actually use these acetate pieces. You could color them and use them on a project as well. So we have that one. Oh, look at that one. And then, again, we have some more ephemera pieces. Ooh, love this paper. It's all on, like, different types of paper. This one, this one's a little bit shiny, but not. Um, this is, like, you can see the fibers in this one. You can actually see the fibers in this paper. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see if it'll focus. Probably not my camera just doesn't like me but yeah there's fibers in that paper this one they're all like different I don't even know how to explain them different types of paper but they this feels really cool it's almost like a vellum but not so we have all of this oh a little map and like a little bitty letter cool okay that's that pack these are really cool boxes. These will get you going for like any specific project you're working on. You could do the whole project with all this stuff. You wouldn't need anything else. All right, my flower jumped away, so I'm just trying to pick it up. All right, so let's put this one back with this. We're going to leave it out because we're going to work with it. And then let's look, take a look at this one. So yeah, like I said, I will put all for information down below and you guys can just go on on YouTube and you can type in um, your creative studio unboxing and you can see people opening up different subscription boxes so these are all different types of oh my gosh purple flowers this couldn't be a more perfect box for me right with all the purple love it those are really pretty I know you guys can't really see them because of this dang light but they are just all really pretty purple flowers. There you go. And they are all stickers, so you just peel them off. And there's a lot here. I don't know what the count was on this, but there's a lot in this one. Let's see if it says on here. Mm, no. Oh, 40 pieces. That's a lot. I said you could do a whole project with this. All right, let's move this one over. Let's see what we have next. <clears throat> All right, we have some masking tape, which I'm going to guess this is more like um, tissue paper. That's what it looks like. It looks like tissue paper, but look at the color. All right, let's be careful getting this out. As you know, this sticky will get you every time. Let's see if I can get this out. Ooh. So there are like five sheets. I'm going to put that sticky side down now. Yes, this is like um, tissue paper. This is really pretty. I love the design on here. Perfect for botanical in spring or fall, any of those. It's almost like a, uh, more like a spring kit. Like I said, I don't know the month. 
I'm guessing the kit came before the information she was going to send me. All right, and here we have some, like, stamps. And these are stickers. Again, these are see-through, but they're like on a frosted paper. Those are really pretty. I like those. And I, love, I love the way it feels. I love all the different textures of all this paper. So let's go to this one. This is Land of All Things Small Card. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is more like a botanical kit. All right. Let's see here. Land of All Things. All right. Oh, again, with the different types of paper. I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of see-through. This is like a paper, but a vellum paper. Oh, these are really pretty. So these with the mushrooms. And then this one. Oh, these have purple writing on them. And those are purple trees. That's cool. And purple mushroom with purple writing. i loving this. <laughs> P extra piece that got on there. Okay. This one. And then we have that flower. So there's two of each one. And again, the papers are so cool. I love the papers. Plant handbook there. And then garden and sheep in spring. Or grass and sheep in spring. Learn to read a little. Okay. And then we have some butterflies. These are really cool. We're going to use some of these. Oh, love this with the purple on it. Look at that purple flower on there. So these, we've got dragonflies. Oh, more purple. Oh, this paper. Pike like flowers. I don't know if that's says, yeah, that's got to be an L. And then, oh, look at the beautiful mushrooms. I love mushrooms. That. And more butterflies. So, yes, you've got two of each. That's a lot in here. Like like I said, this could go for a whole journal, all the stuff that's in here. And then Land of All Things. And that's just the back card, but this could still be used too. So let's see. This is 30 pieces here. So again, a lot of stuff going on. All right. So let's move this one over. And then we have <clears throat> Time Fly Series Bill Collection. My screen's starting to go dark, which I don't know why it does that when I'm filming. It has its own moments. Right, let's get this one open. All right. And, oh, that's like old paper. Old but new. Oh, look at the purple writing. That is, and this paper, it's like paper but see-through I don't know that's like you can see through it I don't know if you guys can see that but these are really cool so there's that three so I'm guessing three of each one wow like these two three yep three of each design so I kind of just flip through them these are and they feel so cool and then these are blank so you could write on there Wow, these are really cool. I really like these. On that one. A blank. Those. Ooh, look at those. That one. That one's cool. That one, ice cream. Order blank. City Drugstore. Oh, that one's really pretty. I'm holding it sideways, guys, just because it's easier to flip through it. And I think there's... And that one. Wow. These are really... I really oh, there's even another one. They don't... They look almost real, like you're holding a real one. These are really pretty. My phone's going a little cuckoo. I really like this. And I'm trying to see how many pieces are in here. But there's a lot. Oh, a hundred. No, that's a hundred. It doesn't. I don't think it says. But there's a lot. Unless it's on the envelope. Nope. Okay. Love this. Alright. Then we have 
Wow, so much stuff to go through here. Oh, rub-ons. And it even comes with a little stick. All right, so let's see. All right, yeah, so if you guys haven't checked out her shop, go check it out. Stick note and rub and transfer sticker. So you could even use this back page. Isn't that pretty? But, ooh, we know I love dragonflies and butterflies. That's beautiful. Look at these. These are really pretty. And then these. Yep, I'm going to have way too much fun with these. Ooh, look at that one. Look at the dragonfly. These are so cool. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be playing with these today. Okay, so that's those. You get three of them in there. I think that's it. Yep. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then here we have six sticker paper, six vellum paper, six art paper, and six pattern paper. Wow. And those are the six, I'm guessing, on the back right there. So let's see. So these are, oh, again with this. I wish I could explain this paper to you guys. It's almost like wallpaper in the roll. That's what it kind of feels like. Like like it can't be torn. Okay, so we have that image, that image. So I'm going to guess there's going to be six of each image in each different style of paper. That's beautiful. Look at the little bird. Let's see now if it starts over with a different kind of paper. So now we've got, yep, this is a different paper now. That This one is like a thick wallpaper. This is like a, almost like a thin tissue paper. And you can hear the difference. Wow, these are really nice. And then, I'm not sure what kind of paper that is. I know what, oh, those first ones are the stickers. That's why... And then, um, what did it say? So, sticker paper, vellum paper, art paper, and pattern paper. This is the pattern paper. I can feel the um, texture in it. On it. I can see it on there, too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have... You're not going to be able to see. It does have texture to it. And then this is the vellum. These are beautiful. So, those first ones that were like wallpaper are the stickers so you can use this whole page right here or cut it apart and use it like stickers this is the sticker paper you wouldn't know it's a sticker but yeah those are cool so that's all that that is beautiful again a whole project right here and the last one and then we'll stamp some stamps and then i will pause while i grab a few things and get plucked my brain and we'll you know, make a, make a few simple little things. So, this comes tied with this jute. And, love this paper right here. Not sure what it is. I'm guessing ephemera. More ephemera in this little envelope that you can use in your journal. See? <laughs> Look at that. It's a little envelope. You have these little pieces here. Don't know if they're stickers or not. And then more cool ephemera. Again with this cool. This paper's textured too. These cool little pieces. And then these again. Oh, this is these gotta be stickers or something. I don't know. This paper's so cool. <laughs> oh, love the way this paper feels. And they're all a little different. These are really cool too. And then, ooh, these are pretty. Ooh, these are all different types of paper. So we've got these. Oh, that's beautiful. And that. This one. This one. These are all really pretty. These could make a beautiful look. Oh, look at that dragonfly. <laughs> Love that. Love this. And this one, love that. This one, like I said, this could make a journal. Then you've got this paper. Definitely has a nice texture. Then this is uh, another, like, almost like a handmade paper, kind of like a mulberry paper. And then this texture of paper. 
really cool. All right, so that is all the goodies that came in this box. So these subscriptions are definitely worth it. Like I said, I think you can do a month, three months. But the amount of stuff that you get, and I will lay it all out after we do some stamping, the amount of stuff that you get is enough to just do a whole complete project. So let me get a piece of paper here because I want to see these stamps stamped out. Let's see here. Sorry, I had to get up and get a piece of paper. Okay. Let me get these stamps because I want to see them stamped out. And I need, what color do we need? Probably want some um, archival ink. So we're going to use this archival black. Let's see. And I'm just going to push this down on here. I think this is my new one. <laughs> one that's kind of dry and one that's new. Um, let me get one of my stamp pads here. So we can just go push down. So I don't get black all over my hand. All right. Let's see, did we get, nope, see, this must be the dry one, because <laughs> look, it didn't even go on my hand. Okay, it's not that one. Let's try the other one. Nothing like buying something, then it goes dry, right? That's what happens when we don't use our stuff. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if it's this one. I'm learning to, you know, try and use all my stuff, because it does start going bad. You can't have everything, as much as we all would like to have. You know, everything. You can't use it all fast enough, especially not me. I work full time. So, all right. So, let's get. I'm working it here. It's going. All right. I want to make sure I get all this fine detail in this stamp. Probably should have used a smaller pad. I think that should get it all, so we're going to put this one down here like this. Drop it. And then I'm just going to get this and put it on here. And press and hold for 10 seconds. You're not supposed to rock or any of that because then it bends the stamp and, you know, makes parts look thicker than they should. You're just supposed to press firmly for a count of 10 while the ink transfers from the stamp to the paper. All right, that should be good. And there we go. Oh, and I just dropped the stamp. <laughs> and I'm guessing my ink pad needs some ink, but see, I pushed a little too hard because I got ink in the center, which is a no-no. But it kind of looks kind of cool. But can you see all that detail in that stamp? That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to try a smaller one for the smaller ones because that's just too much. This one, and I have to sneeze, and I don't want to do that either. I should have used my other one, that one that smells really good, my stays on. All right, so let's try these and see. Oh, yeah, this is uh, way better. Make sure I get it everywhere. All right, we're going to put this one over here, and then I'll bring it in so you guys can see. All right. Let me zoom in here so we can see this. Oh, let's go this way. All right. I'm going to push this one down. All right. What up? Ooh, <laughs> that one's really pretty, too. Come on, focus. I can't tell if it's focusing because I'm trying to look through my bifocals here and it's not working. Are you focusing? There we go. Oh, it did for a second. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if I can get this one to... There we go. All right. We got a couple more to do. Let's do this one. Let's move that piece of plastic. Okay, and let's put this one over here. Try not, I don't want to push too hard because I just want the picture. 
Okay, and let's do this one. Oh, I like these. I like that, you know, they're cushiony and that you can just stack them all together. <laughs> I don't have a lot of room for a lot of big stuff, so this is perfect. And this one's going to be crooked. Sorry, guys. All right. There we go. Okay, let's get this to focus. There we go. Aren't they beautiful? They Those little tiny stamps have some detail, don't they? Okay, so that's the stamps. They're all actually beautiful. And I will wipe those all with a baby wipe. And they will be fine. And I think I'll try my stays on. With them. But yes, they all stamp beautifully. Of course, I will save these and use them for something because I don't like to waste anything. But let me get everything laid out here because this video took a little bit of time. 30 minutes, but... Hey, this is a beautiful box. You want to kind of showcase everything. So you have this and this. Let me back up now. Let me back away so I can get everything in the picture. All right. Let's get these and this. And gosh, I wish I had some light. All right. So then we've got our stamps, which I don't want to put those down on there because we're going to stick them right here. We have our stamps. And then we have our washi and our, where's our rub-ons? Our beautiful rub-ons. I'm moving all this stuff to the side and just putting out what we need. Those, this pack of goodies, and that, these stickers, this tissue paper, we'll put here. These goodies we'll put here. These purple flowers we'll put here. Let's see if I can get it all in here to take a picture. And these here. So this is all the goodies in that one subscription box um, for your creative studio. I will make sure to put the links down below. Please go over and check them out and check out some of the other ladies' um, unboxings and see if they've created some projects with this the box that they received and see the different months that they have and what's available but this is a whole lot um for what you get for a subscription like i said i think you can do a one month or three month or just non-stop i'm sure but this is a lot of goodies this will get you through a whole entire project this pack of goodies so thank you so much amanda for asking me to um, showcase your products. I love them. This per All this purple was perfect for me. This will be very easy for me to create with because, you know, I am the purple girl. So um, thank you again. Um, I will see all of my subscribers soon. Sorry I've been away, but I will be back. I'm going to gather some stuff together. Um, it'll be on this video. I'm going to gather some stuff together and then we'll come back and see what we can make with some of this and do just a little bit of playing. I know this is at 33 minutes, but you can always fast forward through this uh, and look at all the goodies and then watch the make. Um, so have a great day, everybody, and I will be back in a minute as soon as I gather some things and I will see you soon.